Hey guys, welcome to Production Music Live. My name is Francois and today's video, we're quickly going to take a look at these dark techno drums right here and how to program them. So I'm going to replicate what we have right here, right next to it. First of all, I'm copying this sidechain right here. And then we are going to take a look at our main kick element, which is uh, this one here. Copying this over. And we have a kick sample out of our D Premium Volume 2 sample pack right here, a saturator on top of it. And then you see we're cutting off some of the high end right here. And we also have a low cut every once in a while when we want to go into one of those mini breaks here. All right, and we are cutting off even more right here. And then it all goes into this group where we have a glue compressor, where also the higher kick and the bass plug right here are also being used. Below that, we have this high kick element right here. That's sort of the top end of another kick. And we have some saturation on top of this one right here. And you can hear already, we also have some delay on it. But first of all, let's quickly put this here and you can see low cuts and then got rid of some of those boxy frequencies. in the sum with the other kick. And then we are sending this into our delay. It actually goes on GH. So um, this one right here, delay. All right, and now we have a bass block right here made with diva so we are playing very short decay times right here low cut here sidechain compression towards the sidechain kick There we already have like our main elements right here. Now let's go on. We have this bass perk element, also a drum element. Cut off the high frequencies on this one as well. If we put off the EQ. If you put off the EQ on this one, you can see this one of those deeper perk elements. And that's a really nice library in this pack right here because you can use these for some moderat type beats. Let's put it back on. This is a... Uh, a longer sample right here from our Atmo uh, Atmosphere loops. It goes into Ambience. This is our Ambience return channel. And it's from this dark textures and soundscapes pack right here where we have like processed stuff. And more organic stuff. and industrial stuff.
and we're using this domestic thing. And as you can see, it uh, well, you can hear it sounds different than the sample. We actually treated this one here in the envelope inside of the clip. So it's a bit more in line with the groove. So you can also go into samples and then treat these envelopes right here. And then you get this movement into the sound. Okay, um, next group is the claps right here. So we're just playing an octave higher here. But this one already sounds sampled down, so that's why the transposition is already minus eight. So we're somewhere in the middle here. We would actually play it a little higher but then we are going back down to C3. That's why it already sounds pitched down, even if this is C3. And a four to six delay right here. So main snare, our next element. Also a clap sound, also from Deep Premium Volume 2. By the way, we just released also Deep Premium Volume 4, and that one contains some nice loops, top loops, ambience, and noise loops. Okay, and then we have this snare extra thing right here. Actually pick it up here and place it all right here. It's from our Shaker Loops pack. Okay, uh, next element, shaker loop. Another one from the shaker loops pack right here. Yeah. It's adding this higher crisp element to the groove here. Okay, then we have this quick uh, 909 snare right here. Yeah. And send reverb on top of this one into large hall compressor right here. Okay, next element, clave or clave. That one is from Deep Premium Volume 1. Let's pack. And you see, we have a little bit of a groove on this one. We have the swing MPC 16 swing 53. So this one right here applied with these settings. And we have this velocity curve here playing. And side chain. And also we are sending it into G, so that's large hole. Uh, three, three seconds decay time. All right, hi-hats. We have this hi-hat right here. Nice. 
nothing crazy. Um, just a offbeat hi hat. <laughs> And then this one on the side. No effects applied right here. All together. And another one. Delayed. It's also playing the offbeat position, but then we're mixing in this one-to-one -one delay right here. Okay, uh, closed hi-hat, fast. Yeah, yeah, that's very important. Also the velocity curves here, you see this one is going down, this one is emphasizing on the third one, and this one again, and this one is like the more or less like the first one. And you see, in this case, the sample was longer, so um, we shortened it because sometimes a long sample on a closed hi hat can like kill your groove quite a bit here. It's also something you can use to play around. For example, to uh, build up a little bit of tension towards the end of the pattern, you could make it short, go from shorter to longer. Okay, hi-hat noise. That one is done with the um, wavetable synth. And uh, you, that's like the same effect right here. We are playing around the decay. And we have uh, another swing right here on this one uh, applied through the groove pool. Right. So yeah, these are our drum elements on this one right here. Let's play it all together. If you want to learn more about drum programming and groove, check out our groove course. I'm putting a link in the description. Also, if you want to pick up the premium volume 2, 1, 3, 4, or those dark textures right here, I'm putting links in the description as well. Feel free to comment below with ideas or suggestions for future tutorials. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like and a comment. Visit us on productionmusiclive.com, our website supporting this channel, and I hope to see you next time.